type of enterprise before I went to organics was suckler to beef and also buying some stores to finish. The reason I decided to convert to organic was after two loss making years, I felt there had to be a new opportunity out there somewhere to justify my efforts and input rather than ending up with a loss making job. The main changes involved were very basic actually because I had, the, I had the sheds, I had the land and it was really a matter of changing my stock. The difference between organics and conventional animal health wise is withdrawal dates are doubled and trebled. You tend to follow your veterinary advice better and you also follow your factory returns where the medical report comes with it. The biggest challenges when I set out at first was grass growth. I felt maybe with the lack of fertilizers I might run short of grass. What the neighbours thought was one thing crossed my mind. Is this fella losing it? But after it, the second year was a bit difficult grass wise. But after that I got used to the idea of being organic and became familiar and started to learn and work, manage the soil differently. There is more paperwork involved in organics. Everything is about traceability, where your stock come from, where they're going. But having said that, you're involved in a niche market in organics and it justifies the paperwork in my opinion. The market price over and above conventional runs at about 20%. In general rule of thumb, over the average of the last five years is possibly about a euro per kilo over and above the conventional price. The advice I would give to people thinking of going organic would be first of all to research. Research the markets, research the type of agriculture or enterprise that they want to get involved in and really have no fears. It is certainly a challenge. There's different challenges than conventional farm. It's up to every farmer to make his own decisions on these situations. But I certainly have no regrets making the decision 10 years ago.